all this is about tradition. Mm -hmm. Why is it worth keeping it alive? That's a, that's a really good question because, you know, everybody's tradition, tradition, we got to keep the tradition alive. And these are really old traditions, so some people might think they're outdated or they're not as good as the new methods. But in our experience, working with horses and livestock, we've really lost as a society a lot of our instincts with regard to um, working with animals. We've lost touch with nature. Yes, we have. And so, in my opinion at least, um, these older ways are actually more efficient, better for the animals, better for the people. They make you slow down. And um, I think the horses appreciate it. And it actually goes back to a time when, when people relied on horses for their transportation and for working cattle. And if you think of, I've always, I've, we haven't discussed this before, but we have Amish friends and Amish people work with horses only. They're not on a car. So their perspective is much slower than say a person driving past something in a pickup truck. Mm. It's a different speed of life. And so if you're going out and checking your cattle through the windshield of your pickup truck, you're not seeing the same things as if you're on your horse riding among the cattle yes. and seeing what you need to see. And then our style of horsemanship, it becomes really apparent, I think, especially over the last three days, of why we need the things that we need. Because you have to be able to move your horse in a certain way. And then you have to be able to influence the cattle in a certain calm way with your horse. And then moving on to the third day, you have to be able to do this with one hand on the reins because your rope is in that other hand and you have to be able to communicate with your horse completely through your body. Mm. So the old ways are often superior when you're coming to livestock because technology, it can't replace a man on a horse. No, very true. Mm. There's just so many obvious things that I've learned from this weekend. Just I was talking to Evik and we were talking about head stalls last night and he, and Pat had said just simple things like the buckles be careful where they're placed because they can um, block the vision of mm -hmm. the horse and something we do every day and we, we don't even right. realise that. If you think the way a horse sees, he sees mostly behind him. I mean if you put your hand in front of your face that's sort of the view of a horse isn't it? Mm. So he's seeing more behind him than in front. Yes. And if you're blocking that with a great big gaudy buckle. Yes. When all you have to do is put it down a little bit more, make it less thick. Mm. Then you've helped the horse be able to see you and, and feel more comfortable. Mm. You know. Yes, I've really enjoyed this week and just simple mm. things like that has really stuck with me. And I always watch for the horse's ears anyway, but again, so simple. I never thought it would be the same watching the cow's ears yes and yes. then it's just like duh yeah. <laughs> if the cow does this with her ears that's where she's going yes so just she like can she can do all this stuff and you think where is she, is she going to go through the gate is she going to go through the gate and she does this mm. you can back up because she's going yes you don't have to shove her through the gate let her go because then the next time you go to work that cow she's going to be easier to work the, the box exercise for me and watching everyone, even the horsemen here, um, we, we came here last year and we watched them, we were in awe of them just because we don't do this sort of thing in England, that the roping and, right. and, and the work and the cattle like we've been doing this weekend. But even they, when Pat told them to do it with such quiet energy and do not, if the cow runs off, then almost go in the opposite direction right. to release the pressure again, right. same thing as in horse training. Right. But even the first time they did it, everyone was in a, a muddle because they <laughs> were like, doing? yeah, they weren't communicating. Right. They were putting too much pressure on the cows. They right. were going everywhere. Right. And it, it was right more, away. Right away. And the cow right will away. stop. Yes. I, I, I really <laughs> enjoyed, but I loved it how everyone then started working together and it all started to click. But l the old saying, less is more, mm -hmm. really right. um, applied to this weekend for me well, in a massive way. 
And, and the difference, I think most of your people probably see rodeo. And rodeo, the winner is the one who does it the fastest. Yes. Okay, so for a cowboy on a ranch, the winner is the one whose cow is calm and gains the most weight. Yes. So if you're running those pounds off that cow, and we don't have all this grass. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so we really need to work our cattle quiet and slow and, and we need to be able to walk, walk through them with our horses so that we can make sure that nobody's sick. And uh, so if the cow sees us coming and runs, yes, that's, that's counterproductive. We need to be able to walk through and the cow's all, okay, I'm fine, I'll just stand here. The city in England and, and anything is how relaxed we did everything, but then the, all the cows lay down. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I think I have a video online, it's, um, it's an old video, but we've doctored this cow that had a bad eye. And our horses are holding the ropes and the cow's on the ground and Pat's putting an eye patch on the cow. And I pan around because the entire herd is standing behind me watching. They're not, they didn't run away. Mm -hmm. They were like, what you doing? <laughs> and that's what you want, yeah. you know. Inquisitive builds confidence. Yes, exactly. And then the horses are fine too. Yeah, totally. Lovely to meet you. And I've understood you. I've understood every word. Oh, I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap.